So guys, this is Jason. Hi. Jason uh, in basically introduced me to this little adventure. Um, so we're going to be putting together a pool table, right? Yeah, pool table. All right. Tell me, uh, tell me what this is kind of about. Like what you know, what type of business it is, and so on and so forth. Yeah, no, it's a really niche. Uh, I always say niche. It's niche business. Niche, niche. Um, it works yeah. either way. I mean, not a lot of people actually do it. There's um, a lot of little intricacies involved. So basically, we have to go pick up the table and then deliver it to the customer. Uh, so we have to put it together and felt it. Okay. So I've never felt at a pool table before. Never felt at okay. a pool table. <laughs> I, I've felt at a pool table, but I've never felt at a pool table. I know. Funny, right? I, I'm kind of looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, it should be interesting. So basically, um, you put the frame together, you put the slate on, you take uh, some beeswax or candle wax, seal the seams, mm -hmm. you bolt it down, you put the felt on, you put the top rails on, you put the pockets in, and boom, you're done. Wow. Yeah. What to, I mean, are these like high quality tables or, you know, are they, you know, where, where are they in terms of like, uh, uh this particular one, it's like a, Walmart to like, uh, I don't that, know. Definitely not Walmart. These are real slate. Oh, I mean, sweet. Walmart's not going to be slate. Um, they're, they're, it's going to depend on the customer and what they want and what we have for the, their range for the range. Um, so, so do we, do, you know, do, do we. Are we a part of the company that sells them or are we like a subsidiary or like a subcontractor that goes in after the fact and, and assists with the assembly? Oh no, we're doing it all. We're, we're rebuying the tables for resale and then installing them and then taking them out of other people's homes when they want to uh, have them bought so we'll buy them from other customers or just people who have them sitting around sale we don't do any like really new ones yeah but they're still high quality sweet um and then we'll just resell them install them and repeat the cycle this guy is really passionate about pool yeah we have a pool table at work and let me tell you something if i ever want to get my ass kicked i ask this guy to play with me you know during breaks and lunches happy to kick his ass anytime all right guys we're gonna right. get to it because uh we need to get there and get to it so uh we'll see you in a bit see you yes <laughs> It's real interesting to see the pool table all disassembled like this. It's going to be a lot of fun putting it all together. You all right? We've got the pool table all packed up and ready to go. We're on our way to the customer's house to assemble it. So Jerry, you, you find used um, used tables and, and refurbish them and resell them? All I do is, you know, I won't buy a table that needs to be refurbished. I will buy a table if, if, it's, if it's in good shape. Yep. Uh, that I can buy right, because I've found that any table you can get, if you buy it right, uh, you know, it's just a matter of time until you put the money in your pocket. So um, in, in the last, I was telling my wife yesterday, in the last three days, once this table's done, I will have made 2300 bucks clear in my pocket. Wow. All right? That's pretty darn cool. And the only reason I, I made the money is because I have the tools. Yeah. And you know how to, I know how to do the tables. Yeah. And then I got the time to, to do it. That was going to be my next question, is to see, I mean, if it, when you're selling these, do you include, like, assembly prices in, in the, the price of the table? I've, I've, I've learned over time that you don't, you don't give the buyer any, any chance to get confused. Um, so when I put, a, put an ad in Uncle Henry's, you'll have to read them box and I'll show you. But yeah. I say, you know, pool table, Brunswick, nine foot, three piece slate, excellent condition. Um, the price includes the balls, the rails, the bridge, chalk, everything you need to play pool. Uh, plus, at this price, I will deliver this table to your home, assemble it, guarantee the installation for all, for the same charge. One, one, one cost. That's a smart move. Because, I mean, you could buy your table, you know, anywhere really, but you have to pay all sorts of extra money to have it, you know, brought to your home. And then, yeah. you know, you got to have it put together. And, 
Lord knows I wouldn't be able to put together a pool table, so I need to call someone like you, uh, well, you know, to help out. So to have it all inclusive in the price is pretty yeah, cool. That's that's the, uh, the way to do it. Yeah. Give me a lot of time to figure out how to do it, but I'm gonna figure it out. Awesome. Okay. we need to do is level it make sure the table is perfectly level we don't want any balls going anywhere they shouldn't be that perfect shot to be spoiled you know this is the uh, slate how thick is this slate Jerry um, I like to measure I'm not, sure. I'm not sure three quarters maybe an inch but as you can see, it comes in three sections. First thing that needs to be done is where this table is uh, a used table and previously put together. We need to get rid of all the adhesive that stuck these slate pieces together before so that we get a nice, clean, flush edge and there's no gaps when it's all put together. Jerry's all over it and he's giving me a razor to do it, so I'm going to go ahead and get it done. See this right here? Yep. Scrape that right off there good so that it seals. So it comes off pretty easy, huh? Yeah, yeah. very easy. Maybe that, that could be because of the cold, too. That could help. <laughs> you know, that that uh, probably doesn't hurt it at all. These guys know what they're doing. Yeah. Lots of practice and experience. Here's all the pockets. And the hardware we'll need to put this all together. Make it look nice, nice. And the cover. Yeah, we gotta line up the pre-drilled holes to get the first piece on so we can line up the rest of them. Okay. So you're lining up the holes with the slate with the holes in the base. Okay. There it is. Yep. And you can see that there's pre-drilled holes where the slate was before. Gotcha. So right there and right there. We're just going to slide it up and line it up. Okay. Yep. Line it up. Okay. Alright. So Jason. Yep. Give me the light. You you lift the slate up. Yep. I'm glad that they have these. That makes it easier. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> so right now. Got it? Yep. Yeah. Alrighty. That helps find the hole. Yeah, I guess so. So basically that's all we're gonna do with all three of these slates. Just line up the holes and secure them in place. I'm gonna put screws in and once we get a couple of screws in. And then we'll pull it. Okay. Yeah, so what they're doing now is they're putting the rail system together that right. goes on the outside of the pool table. And now on the pockets. So. Once that's complete, that goes over the pool table. Once the pool table is felted, so. and put together the pockets. Make sure none of the tassels are inside the leather. You've yep. done that before a million times. Yep. So you just put them together. Yep. So. Got it, Toyota. Yeah. Just repeat. Around Rinse in. and repeat. <laughs> yep, until you get two and a half, uh, three quarter rectangles, and then you're going to put them together on the table so the pockets in to connect the middle. Which you'll see in a few minutes. I'm gonna put wax down here and smooth it out, which you'll see in a little bit. But first, we have to get all the screws in these little holes here that puts the slate flat against the frame. Yep. 
and we'll have to go underneath and we'll take the level and we'll shim make sure it's level. Then we'll seal it and then we'll put that rail on that we just did and then we'll put the two side pieces together with the pockets. Sweet. But in between that we also have to do the felt. The felting itself. Yep. Yeah. Which I'm looking forward to seeing that. Yeah, but seeing how it's all about cool. what it's all about. We're taking matches, right? And we're yep. breaking them in there just to give the screws a little extra grip because the screws and the holes they had before weren't really in there that good. So we just really want to cement the screws when they go in so it'll grab the wood along the way down. That's brilliant. Yeah. Little tricks of the trade that you learn along the way. Absolutely. My boys? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's um, cool. You, you want me to break some matches? Oh yeah, you're going to break some matches. I'm breaking. All right, yeah, here we go. There's two holes right there. Uh, do it. All right, hold on. Is it like one, two, three per? Or? It doesn't matter, just two or three. All right. Just something to give the screw a little extra torque. Okay, let's... Don't put the match head in there, obviously. Ah! Match head, no match head. <laughs> nope, you didn't see that, boys. I took it out. <laughs> just because we don't want to... We don't want anything catching on fire. Yeah, the fire's for the customers. They don't like that. All right, I think I, right I, think I got it. Starting to look more and more like a pool table. What I'm doing now is just trying to, I'm going to get the screw under the level of the slate to get the stick up. Don't want any bumps in the felt. No bumps in the felt or the table. We'll eventually smooth it out and wash and wipe it down. But we got to get the screws down before we do all that. Understandable. Yep. So now that the slate's all down, leveled, and ready to go, the next step is to clean the slate, get it ready for waxing. We're going to wax all these little screws here to make sure it's all smooth. We're going to wax these cracks just to make sure that there's any fluid motion here. So when you're playing pool, the, uh, when you hit the ball there, it's not going to actually go in another direction because of the crack here. So everything's going to be 100% flat and flush. So like there's a little hole here, for example, that's going to be filled in with wax and completely leveled. As I try to take as, it as, as long as he, you know, as long as I don't, you know, he doesn't chop my hand off. So this is a little tool as a scraper. It's got a razor, just scraping all the extra stuff off the top of the plate. So basically, they're getting it ready for the wax, and then after the wax, they're going to get it ready for the felt. These guys don't know what they're doing or anything. There's a blemish right here. We should just try to kill it. Trying to make sure the slate is 100% smooth. And I'll tell you what, anybody that wants a pool table, these guys really know what they're doing. The information that you'll need to contact them will be in the comments below. What we're doing is we're laying the felt out and then we'll sweep the top of the table. Well, we're going to have to pull out all the staples that are still in this cloth. Okay. Um, we got some major uh, stretching to do to get this thing to fit. Yep. Okay. Oh, interesting. Using the felt to get any fine dust particles off the slate? Yep, exactly. All right, now all the safes. There, there can be, there can still be uh, small blemishes that are uh, you know, a small piece of paper, a small piece of hair, whatever. So they'll need so, to pull these so staples out. Run, run your fingers. Just do as you run your fingers right over it. Yeah. And you're feeling for anything underneath the felt. Okay. That See, might still right be right the there. That's... You'll feel it because it'll be like a pebble or a rock when you go over it. Yep, right, right here you can feel something. Yep. You want to put your fingers on there? So you can feel. Oh yeah, you can definitely feel that. That that it's, feels like a staple. Probably fell out on there, but that's why we do it. Absolutely. To make it's just, sure. If it's not perfect, it's gotta go. Staple. Right. What I'm doing is just taking the staples out from before. Just need to put new ones in. Gotcha. You, you can do this when you take it apart, or you know, before you go to put it on. Sometimes you can save them, but most of the time you're just gonna use staples. Makes sense. Yeah, it doesn't look like it takes too long to do. No, it's definitely easier if you can get it off the table to pull them out versus having to pull them out. 
the time you take it off. So basically, he's waxing now. That is so neat. Jason goes right behind him with the plow. Yep. Come across there, Jason. Yep. All the wax, you save it? Yep. You save the wax and recycle it? Yeah. Yep. Nice. It's important to be quick when you're coming behind. It's a timing thing because if you wait too long, it solidifies and it's that much harder to take off and you have to do it over. If you're too quick, it doesn't stick. So you just got to kind of play it out and maybe go over it a couple times. Yeah, like like right there, for example. Yeah, exactly, like that. You can see it came up because I was a little too fast. But we'll go over it once or twice and seal it up. much in one sweep as you can so that it isn't all chunked out and it's not much harder to get up. Yeah, that's, um, that, just... that is awful broken up. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's not bad, probably. Yeah, that's, I gotta reheat that, Jason. Yeah. I think the, um, the temperature was slate. I mean, it's below zero out there. Yeah. It's an hour and a half. Um, the wax is probably drying too quick, huh? Yeah, this, Can, uh, can you turn the heat up, please? That's like some yeah. What's going on, guys, is it's too cold and the slate's been out below zero temperature, so the wax is drying quicker than they can get to it, and it's causing an issue. Not a big deal. We'll get it. It's no. Just a little more scraping involved, that's all. Right. Start at the middle? Yeah, it's got to start at the middle. We use cloth, yeah. Okay. So start at the middle, we'll staple those. And we'll put the corners down, get those. And then we'll, after those are set, we'll go back around the sides of the cloth on the pocket. Yeah. It and makes sense to start at the middle. Adjust. You'll see this doesn't, it looks kind of wrinkly right now, but as we start stapling it, it's going to stretch. It'll stretch right it's out. Actually, you wouldn't know, but pool pelt is very stretchy. So what he's doing now is spraying the glue so we can kind of put the felt in place and then the, he staples it. Yeah, and then you do that with each pocket so that it's a seamless transition between the slate and the felt. It's like a mass almost. Staples. I'm going to wind up pulling them all out. I'm right now just putting them in place so we can just put the cloth 
on the bigger picture square. Okay. Because we gotta we gotta continue to work with this until we get every single wrinkle out. We'll get you started for the square it up. Perfect, Jason. Awesome. I learned from the best. Indeed. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, we just feel for the hole. Like if you're using cloth that's been on there before, if you're stretching it a little different, you have to like break cut it. Yeah. Typically, we'll just make like a little like X, and then just cut out a hole so that put the bolt up through like this. When the rails go on top, the bolt's gonna come up into this. That's why we cut these holes out. Otherwise, it'd be stuck in the cloth. Right. Make sense? Guys are waiting in line. Look at <laughs> put, put this up through and just get that get that uh, started. Okay. Once you get it started, we can just twist it up um, finger tight, and we got that. Then we bring this up and be done. Yeah. Pull up against the. Uh, gotcha. Okay. Can do. Yes. Okay. It's ideal to probably wear safety glasses. So don't tell OSHA. It'll be our secret. Us and the Staple in your pockets. Right? They hold the balls. Very good. 